Hello, and thank you for tuning in to our channel. Before we dive in, we need a small favor from you. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe, thumbs up, and notification buttons below, so you can stay updated on all our latest videos. The target 100 meters away launches an attack, demonstrating the perfect combination of speed and firepower. This assault vehicle features a powerful and flexible combat platform. Its weapon system can fire without human intervention, and the operators inside the vehicle can receive external video imagery through sensors. They control the weapon remotely using fire control and drive systems. With its presence on the battlefield, the vehicle crew can avoid exposure to danger from flying shrapnel. It has both direct and machine-aided aiming methods. To operate it, you adjust left and right for direction and up and down for elevation, right? After adjusting the elevation, you release the safety, and then, with both safeties disengaged, aim at the target for precise strikes. Its primary purpose is self-protection, enemy elimination, and accurate engagement. The weapon system is mounted on the vehicle roof, and the weapon control station is concealed inside. As a non-contact intelligent combat system, this remote-controlled weapon not only achieves nearly 360-degree firepower coverage but also allows combat personnel inside the vehicle to achieve one-shot kills, maximizing the preservation of human forces. Its precision strike capability and strong protection have made remote-controlled weapons gradually become the new standard for armored vehicles. In recent years, various types of unmanned equipment are rapidly transitioning from laboratories to training grounds, and unmanned intelligent combat forces are rising swiftly. If we consider remote-controlled weapons as extensions of striking arms, then unmanned vehicles provide the combat entity with more flexible legs. Autonomous driving is the critical core technology for ground-based unmanned systems. Unlike aerial drones, ground unmanned operation platforms face more complex issues in remote control and information transmission. Different terrains and structures can affect signal transmission efficiency and distance, posing greater challenges for unmanned vehicles to autonomously complete search tasks in maneuver mode. Communication interference during encounters and overtaking. In a complex section with smoke bombs and craters, the Dongfeng Mengchur unmanned vehicle charged forward like a juggernaut. Suddenly, smoke billowed ahead, but it swiftly emerged from the haze. On the vehicle's upper part, our main sensor is installed, the laser radar. It measures environmental points by emitting and receiving laser light, achieving a sampling frequency of over 1 million points per second. Behind it, you'll notice a green optoelectronic reconnaissance device that includes visible light. Infrared and laser ranging allow reconnaissance and measurement of targets up to 3 to 5 kilometers away. At the front of the vehicle, there's a black millimeter wave radar. Its detection medium is millimeter waves, enabling environmental detection even in adverse weather conditions like rain and fog. It's worth mentioning that all the devices we've just introduced are domestically produced, representing a significant advancement for battlefield, application, and practical use. As unmanned equipment modules with different functions continue to mature, their integration into a unified system is inevitable. If tanks were the core equipment for ground combat in the 20th century, then unmanned combat vehicles may well become the future kings of land warfare. In recent years, the proportion of unmanned combat vehicles has gradually increased in the ground weaponry of major military powers worldwide. Their significance has also grown. Not only do they enhance the combat capabilities of land forces, but they also provide the foundational equipment for adapting to future informationized, intelligent, and unmanned battlefields. Across the desolate desert, two domestically produced unmanned combat vehicles swiftly maneuver toward their designated targets. These are two new types of wheeled armored unmanned vehicles, both sharing the same platform and featuring stealth design. Equipped with a 4x4 all-terrain chassis, rear-mounted engines, and primarily used for tasks such as day and night patrols, fixed-point reconnaissance, and attacks, these vehicles can reach a top speed of 80 km per hour and have a range of 400 km. The vehicle body also incorporates ceramic protective armor interfaces to enhance survivability. The strike type unmanned vehicle carries a 12.7 mm multifunctional remote controlled weapon with a station load of 300 rounds and an effective range of 1,500 meters. The first generation multifunctional unmanned combat vehicles have several notable features standardized vehicle models, a universal chassis, and modular upper structures. They can operate simultaneously and locally 
monopoly as a cluster, meaning they already possess rapid battlefield support and organization capabilities. Optional upper weapon platforms, in addition to machine guns, include 35mm grenade launchers, individual anti-tank rockets, and anti-hijacking systems. The strike-type wheeled armored unmanned vehicle has also undergone tests such as low temperature, high temperature, vibration, impact, and rain. It has even achieved the top score in multiple urban attack and defense simulated exercises. It is coordinated with the reconnaissance-type wheeled armored unmanned vehicle, which is equipped with a retractable mast and a large rotating electro-optical ball on top. It can provide high-definition visible light video and infrared reconnaissance images. With so many functions and performance features of unmanned vehicles introduced, how are they controlled? Let's take a look at the control vehicle. Inside, you can see the control terminals arranged in sequence after the modular deployment. These control terminals are used to operate the unmanned vehicle for driving and mission tasks within an effective control distance. Currently, we can achieve a range of 10 kilometers. At this range, it can reach a maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour. It is believed that such unmanned equipment can effectively reduce the combat intensity and casualty rate of personnel. At the 14th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition, a uniquely designed amphibious unmanned combat vehicle has attracted attention. According to reports, this amphibious unmanned combat vehicle is designed for the Army Amphibious Combined Arms Corps, Marine Corps, and Special Forces as a lightweight unmanned mobile platform. From its appearance, it adopts a streamlined hull design. Unlike traditional amphibious vehicles, its front design is smoother, significantly reducing resistance and enhancing its ability to navigate at sea, even in rough conditions. Above it, there is an equipped weapon station, integrated with infrared sensors and optical detection capabilities. Additionally, it has two anti-tank weapons on the side, giving it the ability to counter enemy armored targets. Furthermore, its tracks are designed in a triangular shape similar to polar vehicles, allowing it to have excellent excellent mobility on terrains like beaches, mud, and swamps. It combines the appearance of a land vehicle with that of a watercraft for surface travel. This versatile vehicle is relatively lightweight, yet it can carry more payload due to its efficient design. In this era of unmanned systems, if it operates alongside manned equipment or other unmanned systems within the same command structure or using the same network and communication system, they can share information and coordinate effectively. It serves as a remotely controlled unmanned combat platform for executing operational tasks. The robot's locomotion mechanism employs tank-like tracks, enabling it to adapt well to complex terrains and field conditions and achieve relatively high speeds. It is also prepared for complex urban combat environments. Even standard steps or staircases made of steel plates pose no problem for this small robot. Armed with a machine gun, he is capable of reacting swiftly to unexpected situations, making him a suitable replacement for soldiers in hazardous and unfamiliar environments to carry out reconnaissance missions. His reconnaissance equipment also includes an infrared night vision device, which assists him in adapting to nighttime combat tasks. Through the screen, every movement of the enemy personnel is laid bare. Of course, the combat robot is also proficient in using weapons. Currently, operators are controlling the robot to aim at the target. In fact, these robotic recruits have gradually integrated into the front line of the People's Army, charging alongside soldiers to safeguard national defense. According to Superior Intelligence, a black box rainwater liberation device was discovered in an abandoned house on the southwest side of Hill 58. During this bomb disposal training, the reconnaissance team used drones to investigate suspicious objects in the mission area. Based on the transmitted images, the bomb disposal unit promptly deployed an X-ray machine to analyze the internal structure and nature of the suspicious object. Once the nature of the suspicious object was confirmed, the bomb disposal team on the other side swiftly set up and deployed the bomb disposal robot toward the target area. Soldiers operate bomb disposal robots, precisely locking onto targets and using water cannons to strike them. The bomb disposal robot is equipped with a high-pressure water gun that can destroy explosives in place without causing an explosion, ensuring that the immediate environment remains undamaged while internally damaging the explosive material. 
In addition, the bomb disposal robot can perform functions such as climbing, grabbing, and removing, tailored to different hazardous targets. It carries out targeted destruction. Late at night, the soldiers receive another mission, an unexploded mortar shell has been found in a certain area. Through reconnaissance by an aerial drone, the bomb disposal robot quickly pinpoints the location of the explosive. After scanning and identifying the explosive, it is remotely neutralized. Enabling detonation technology is crucial for enhancing combat capabilities. Currently, we closely align with real-world tasks, focus on formidable adversaries, and organize precise training for soldiers to operate unmanned equipment. This gradual approach strengthens their ability to engage in diverse military missions. In recent years, the iterative speed of biomimetic robots has far exceeded people's expectations. Various biomimetic robots with different sizes and power systems have emerged. They can perform tasks such as close-range reconnaissance and material transport in special terrains in complex environments. Some are even equipped with weapons and ammunition for direct combat, making biomimetic robots a rising star in the field of unmanned equipment. This mountain transport vehicle, named New Long Matu, is eye-catching in terms of its appearance. It has front and rear pairs of articulated arms, as well as eight drive wheels. The articulated arms resemble horse legs, with hydraulic cylinders serving as thighs, the front arms as shins, and the wheels as hooves. The vehicle runs impressively, not only capable of four-wheel steering but also able to lower all four wheels. Its eight-wheel drive adapts to different terrains. The type and number of active wheels can be adjusted. It can easily cross a 1.8-meter trench or scale a 1.2-meter steep wall. Whether in mountainous terrain, valleys, or snowy glaciers in deserts and wastelands, the new Long Matu can handle material transport tasks. Now, let's talk about the vehicle's lightweight design. There has been a significant improvement, the articulated arms are nearly 50% lighter than before, while maintaining the required strength. The load capacity has also increased by 50%. On paved roads, it can reach a maximum speed of 40 km per hour, and its average off-road speed is 25 km per hour. In military operations, especially in mountainous terrain, having highly maneuverable vehicles like the new Longma 2 is essential for supplying troops to their destinations, even in complex environments without established roads. In order to enhance reconnaissance and transportation capabilities in complex terrains and hazardous environments, and to reduce casualties in combat, countries have all increased their research and development efforts in highly mobile unmanned equipment. Woody, 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 looking to the left, this machine dog named Geta even attracted a pet dog to come forward and challenge. Don't be fooled by its small size, it's quite strong. With a weight of 32 kilograms, it can carry up to 40 kilograms of supplies. Despite its small stature, Geta possesses great intelligence and features such as voice interaction and facial recognition. Moving forward, we completed it autonomously, through forest paths and gravel roads, narrow passages, single plank bridges, tilting waves, and a 100-meter race against multiple dogs. Based on these results, we are very satisfied. In this gathering of unmanned equipment, clever and intelligent biomimetic robots like Geta are not uncommon. This large robot, called the Electric Yak, is the world's largest electrically driven quadruped biomimetic robot developed independently by our country. Capable of carrying 160 kilograms of supplies, it can move swiftly. Its top running speed reaches 10 km per hour, making it a modern version of the wooden ox and flowing horse, adept at handling gravel roads, muddy paths, grasslands, sandy terrain, and snowy ground. For the electric yak, these complex terrains are a piece of cake. It also possesses terrain and environmental awareness, allowing it to handle various landscapes such as steps, trenches, and cliffs. If you need further assistance or have any other requests, feel free to ask. Smiling face with smiling eyes. Certainly. Here's the English translation of the provided Chinese text, broken down into numbered sentences, demonstrating strong adaptability to terrain environments. So, what is the key to achieving stable load-bearing walking for the electric yak? The yak has 12 sets of independently developed joint modules, achieving a total of 12 degrees of freedom for the entire system. It can perform actions such as forward and backward movement, left and right shifts, and turning. It's 
successfully unlocks various gates, including diagonal walking, running, and jumping, while adapting to diverse terrains. This capability allows it to transport ammunition and food for soldiers in challenging environments such as high-altitude plateaus, mountainous regions, deserts, and forests where vehicle travel is difficult. In fact, the Yak has another hidden skill, close-range reconnaissance. In complex environments unfavorable for soldiers' tasks, it continuously collects battlefield intelligence and monitors target movements. The four-legged biomimetic robot named, literally police dog, shares its origins with the Yak. Although it appears smaller, its autonomous reconnaissance capabilities are not to be underestimated. The can autonomously plan global paths, perform real-time terrain mapping, and navigate obstacles to reach its reconnaissance position in mountainous environments. It excels in keen olfactory perception. Equipped with the ability to move through rugged terrain, the initially hides in its mountain reconnaissance position. Using its optical infrared camera with 30x zoom, it relays reconnaissance data on enemy vehicles and personnel back to the control center. It autonomously identifies targets within a range of one kilometer. In the future, it will be utilized in various areas, including mountain reconnaissance, explosive detection, security, logistics, industrial inspections, and embankment assessments. In early 2022, the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation KASIC, independently developed an underwater intelligent biomimetic robot. The world's first biomimetic whale shark made its debut. This 4.7-meter long whale shark weighs 350 kilograms and closely resembles a real whale shark. It can highly simulate various underwater movements of real whale sharks, such as swimming in a straight line, turning, surfacing, diving, and opening and closing its mouth. It boasts advantages like ease of operation, high reliability, modularity, energy efficiency, and environmental friendliness, and it can be controlled by humans. It is also capable of autonomous underwater movement. This achievement demonstrates the successful combination of China's intelligent underwater submersibles with biomimetic technology. In addition to the biomimetic whale shark, other biomimetic products, such as the biomimetic golden dragonfish, biomimetic killer whale, and biomimetic finless porpoise, have also been successfully developed, continuously promoting the deep integration of marine biomimetic technology and intelligence systems. Currently, China's unmanned vessel technology has made significant strides. Some unmanned vessels can autonomously perform tasks such as patrol, reconnaissance, detection, and search and rescue, entering a phase of parallel development for both research and practical applications. The video shows China's first domestically produced 100-ton class unmanned vessel conducting its inaugural autonomous sea voyage. Designed with a stealthy trimaran hull, this unmanned vessel's successful trial marks a new breakthrough in autonomous vessel navigation and intelligent cabin technology in China. A fleet of 56 unmanned vessels, operating as a waterborne formation, completed various tests, including maintaining formation, autonomous dynamic task allocation, cooperative obstacle avoidance, and fault-tolerant control. This showcases the potential of autonomous vessel formation control. At the 13th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition in 2021, Yunzhou Intelligence publicly unveiled its core technology achievements in unmanned boat swarm control. The practical demonstration of high-speed unmanned boat dynamic collaborative gaming technology showcased the coordinated encirclement, interception, and expulsion process of a high-speed unmanned boat swarm against unidentified maneuvering targets at sea. The decent the centralized capability of the unmanned boat swarm is a highlight, the entire swarm operates without centralized command. Each boat functions as an autonomous individual, sharing situational awareness and making collective decisions, thereby enhancing its ability to handle complex situations. Today, new cutting-edge forces represented by intelligent unmanned equipment have gradually become the mainstay of the People's Liberation Army. In real-world training scenarios, they continue to shine, serving as a new engine driving the rise of the PLA's combat capabilities and a lever tipping the balance toward victory.